Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got these uh, two semicircles uh, put together as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this code uh, BD is uh, tangent to this uh, smaller semicircle at this point uh, C. And moreover, the area of this uh, bigger semicircle is uh, 18 pi with the center uh, P. Whereas uh, the area of this uh, smaller uh, semicircle is uh, 8 pi with its uh, center at uh, Q. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region, this area and this area combined. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and calculate the radius uh, of uh, this uh, larger semicircle and this uh, smaller semicircle uh, as well. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area equals to pi r square. Let's focus on this uh, big uh, semicircle first. Its area has been given to us uh, as 18 pi. And since we are dealing with the semicircle, so I'm going to divide this pi r square by 2. And now the area of this uh, big semicircle has been given to us as 18 pi equal to pi r square divided by 2. And now let's go ahead and multiply by 2 on both sides to remove this uh, fraction and we can see this uh, 2 and 2 is gone so we got 36 uh, pi equals to pi r square and now pi is cancelled out on both sides so therefore we got r square equal to 36 let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking a square root on both sides so therefore our radius uh, r turns out to be positive 6 and since we are dealing with this uh, big uh, semicircle so therefore I'm going to replace uh, this r by uppercase r so therefore our radius uh, uppercase r is going to be 6 so thus the radius of this uh, bigger semicircle turns out to be 6 and now let's focus on this uh, small uh, semicircle whose uh, area has been given to us uh, as 8 pi so therefore we got uh, 8 pi equals to pi r square divided by 2 and now let's multiply both sides uh, by 2 to remove uh, this uh, fraction this uh, 2 and 2 is gone and we got uh, 16 pi equal to pi r square pi and pi are gone so therefore r square turns out to be equal to 16 now let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking a square root. So therefore our r value turns out to be positive 4. So thus uh, the radius of this uh, smaller semicircle turns out to be 4. And here's our next step. Uh, let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, green shaded region uh, area is going to be equal to the area of uh, this uh, sector uh, ABD minus uh, the area of this uh, small uh, semicircle and now we can see the area of this uh, small circle uh, has already been given to us as 8 pi so our only task is to calculate uh, the area of this sector uh, ABD and here's our next step I have connected this center P with this point uh, D and now we can see this is the radius uh, of this uh, big semicircle which is uh, 6 and this is the radius uh, of this uh, big semicircle as well so this is going to be 6 as well so therefore uh, this uh, triangle uh, BPD is an isosceles triangle since uh, this side length uh, equal to this side length and now in this uh, next step I have dropped a perpendicular uh, PE on this uh, code uh, BD and now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem if a radius of a circle is perpendicular to the chord, then the radius uh, bisects the chord. So therefore, this uh, perpendicular bisects this chord uh, BD into two equal parts. Uh, this one uh, DE 
and this is uh, EB and here's our next step I have connected uh, this center Q of this uh, smaller semicircle with uh, this point of tangency C and now let's recall the circle theorem the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent will always be 90 degrees now we can see that this uh, CQ is our radius and this uh, BD is the tangent so no wonder this angle has got to be 90 degrees and now let's make an observation we know that this is the radius of this uh, small semicircle and we know the radius of the small semicircle is uh, 4 and moreover uh, this uh, is the radius of this small circle as well so this is a 4 whereas uh, this uh, is the radius of this uh, big uh, semicircle which is uh, 6 so therefore uh, this uh, distance between P and Q turns out to be 6 minus 4 is going to be 2 units and now let's make an observation we can see that this whole uh, length uh, QB is going to be 2 plus 6 uh, is going to give us uh, 8 and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, BCQ whose uh, this uh, smallest leg is uh, 4 and its uh, largest leg is uh, 8 and here I have copied down this uh, triangle and we can see that the largest leg is uh, 2 times uh, the smaller leg as uh, this is 4 units and this is uh, 8 units then in such kind of uh, 30 60 90 triangle uh, this uh, angle is going to be 60 degrees uh, and this angle is going to be 30 degrees so therefore our angle uh, BQC turns out to be 60 degrees and this uh, angle QBC is uh, 30 degrees and let's make an observation we can see that this uh, line uh, QC and this line uh, P E are uh, parallel so therefore uh, these two angles are going to be congruent since they are corresponding uh, angles and here's our next step let's focus uh, now on this uh, another uh, triangle B E P and we can see that this is our 30 60 90 special uh, triangle and in this uh, triangle this uh, is our uh, longest leg which is uh, 6 and this is our smallest uh, leg so this is going to be half of uh, this 6 so that means this side uh, is 3 units so therefore our this uh, side length uh, PE turns out to be 3 and now let's focus once again on this uh, right triangle uh, BEP and we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle to calculate this side length uh, EB and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call this longest leg uh, as our side uh, c I'm gonna call this side a and this side uh, lowercase b so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so a square plus b in our case is 3 whole square equal to c is uh, 6 square and here a square plus 9 turns out to be 36 let's go ahead and subtract 9 from both sides this is gone so a square turns out to be 27 let's undo this uh, square by taking square root on uh, both sides so therefore a turns out to be equal to and here square root of 27 if we simplify this one it turns out to be equal to 3 times square root of 3 so therefore a value turns out to be 3 times uh, square root of a 3 so thus our side length uh, b e turns out to be 3 times square root of 3 and now we know that uh, d e equals to e b so therefore uh, this uh, e b segment uh, which is 3 times square root of 3 is going to be equal to this uh, segment uh, d e which is 3 times square root of 3 as well so therefore this uh, whole uh, side length uh, b d is going to be 3 times square root of 3 plus 3 times square root of 3 so that is going to give us uh, 6 times uh, square root of 3 and here's our next step let's go ahead and focus on this uh, triangle uh, BPD we are going to calculate uh, its uh, area and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to half times uh, base times the uh, height and in our case uh, our base uh, is uh, 6 times square root of 3 and our height of this triangle is uh, 
3. So therefore the area of this triangle BPD is going to be a half times the base in our case is 6 times the square root of 3 and then times 3. And if we simplify everything on the right hand side is going to give us 9 times the square root of 3. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this right triangle PED. And in this triangle I can see that this smallest leg is 3 and largest leg is 6. So therefore we can see that this is a special 30, 60, 90 triangle since this largest leg is twice the smallest leg. Therefore our this angle EPD turns out to be 60 degrees and this smallest angle is 30 degrees. So therefore we conclude that this angle APD turns out to be 60 degrees since sum of all these three angle must be 180 degrees. And now let's make an observation. We can see the area of this sector ABD equals to the area of this triangle BPD plus sector PAD area. And now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this sector PAD. And now let's recall the sector area formula. Area equal to theta divided by 360 degrees times pi r square and in our case our angle theta is 60 degrees and our radius is 6. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So we got 60 degrees divided by 360 degrees times pi times r in our case 6 whole square and if we simplify everything it turns out to be 6 pi. So the area of this uh, sector PAD turns out to be 6 pi. And now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this sector ABD by just uh, filling in the blanks uh, over here. We figured out these uh, values. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So the area of this triangle BPD is uh, 9 times the uh, square root of uh, 3 plus sector PAD area is uh, 6 uh, pi. So that's our sector of ABD area turns out to be 9 times square root of 3 plus uh, 6 pi. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate this uh, green area. We already figured out our uh, sector ABD area right over uh, here. And the area of this uh, small semicircle is uh, 8 pi. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So we got uh, 9 times the square root of 3 plus uh, 6 uh, pi and then minus uh, 8 uh, pi and if we combine these uh, like terms uh, our green area turns out to be 9 times uh, square root of 3 minus uh, 2 pi. So the green region uh, turns out to be 9 times uh, square root of 3 minus 2 pi and that is approximately equal to 9.3. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.